Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is a King's Tutor. If this is your first time on joining us, kindly click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. Okay, now today we want to continue on uh, a series we started a uh, long time ago on um, adjustments of final accounts. Okay, so we um, saw um, final accounts that's um, the adjustment in the additional information. Also, the first part that comprised of um, the closing stock, um, the prepaid expenses, prepaid income, accrued expenses, and accrued income. If you've not um, seen that video, I advise you to see that before this. Okay, check in my link, uh, the link below this video in my YouTube channel to watch that. Okay, now in the previous video, we looked at the stock, look at accrued accruals that is um, good for income and uh, expenses. We also saw prepayment uh, that includes income and what expenses, how it is being treated, how we can post to the uh, profit or loss, and also to the what balance sheet. Now let's take it to the next level. Now the other um, adjustment we want to see is bandit. Bad debt. Now what is bad debt? Now bad debts are irrecoverable debt. Okay? They are debt that cannot be recovered. Okay? As a retailer, we sell most time on credit in order to increase our turnover. But most time, the people who sell to our debtors, most of them might, uh, uh, the debt might turn to be bad. Okay? So bad debt are debt that cannot be recovered. And we have many reasons for bad debt. One is debt of the debtor. When a debtor dies, he cannot recover the debt again. Or insanity of the debtor. Once the debtor is insane, you can't get it. Or um, disappearance of the debtor without trace. Okay? So, when there is bad debt in the additional information, you know, in the question, how do we treat it? And we have three ways we can treat it. And the first one is, <clears throat> if the bad debt occurs only in the trial balance. For instance, you have the trial balance and we have bad debt. Okay? We have a trial balance and we have bad debt. Now we have additional information. Now we have bad debt of, let's say, 5,000. Okay? So if it appears only in the uh, trial balance, you don't have an issue. What you should does to post that amount to the profit or loss as expenses. That is the only entry. No other entry is required. Okay? When it appears only in you know what? Um, trial balance. Post it to what? Profit or loss as well in the expenses side. Okay? So, I will say this now. Trial balance only we post to the profit or loss as expenses. Okay? When a person in travels only we post to the profit or loss as expenses. Okay? That's the first one. Another one is if it appears under the um, trial balance and also appears under the additional information. Let's say also we have bad debt. Say they should write up bad debt, additional bad debt of let's say two thousand. When it appears in the um, trial balance and also with the additional information, now how do we treat this? Okay. Now, if it appears like this, the first thing you should do is to uh, to add up. Okay. So we can do in the adjustment like we have bad debt. I said amount in the trial balance is okay. Let me do that here. Bad debt. The amount in the trial balance is five thousand. Why the amount in the additional information is two thousand? Okay. So if you add up, we have seven thousand. Now, this 7,000 is what will go to the profit or loss. It is what will go to profit or loss as expenses. Okay? After you've added up. 
that why this 2,000 in the additional information is what will go to the balance sheet to deduct the debtors, to reduce the debtors' value. Now we are saying when it appears both in the trial balance and in the, what, in the uh, additional information. Now how do you treat this? You said you add it up together. Okay? You add it up together. Now this amount will be posted to the what? Profit or loss as expenses in the debit side. Why the one under the additional information is what goes to the what? To the balance sheet. Okay? Now it will what? It will be deducted from the what? From the debtor's uh, figure. Okay? So um, for the trial balance only in balance sheet, we we'll write no entry. Okay? Now also, the second one we have just explained, we said if it appears in um, if it appears in the trial balance and additional information. Now how do we treat this? Okay? So we said in the profit or loss. In the profit or loss, you debit it as expenses, as the total, okay? And in the balance sheet, you post only the one that appears under additional information. If you want current assets to reduce their doors figure. Okay? So the third one, and the third one is when it appears only in the additional information. When it appears only in what additional information. So what do we do? So the bad debt figure will be posted to the debit side of the what profit or loss account. Why in the current um, the balance sheet it will be used to what to deduct or reduce the um, the debtor's figure. That's just it. So when it appears only in additional information. Only. Okay? We said also to the profit or loss account at the expenses side. At the expenses side, why in the balance sheet we use to deduct or reduce the debtor's figure in the word current asset. So these are the three ways the bad, the bad debt can occur. We said the first one, if it appears only in the trial balance, what do you do? You just post to the profit or loss as expenses. No other entry is what is required. Okay? Why the second one, when it appears in the trial balance and additional information, what do you do? You sum them up together. The total is posted to the expenses side the profit or loss. Why the one that appears in the additional information will be posted to the, the balance sheet to reduce debtors figure. Okay? So why if it appears only under additional information you also post that amount to the what profit or loss as expenses then you deduct it from the what uh, debtors figure current asset okay so that is the three way um, this can occur now that is for bad debt now let's see also the next one which is provision for bad debt Provision for bad debt. In this part, provision for bad debt. Now, provision for bad debt. Now, provision is a, a money kept specifically for a particular purpose. Okay? So, provision for bad debt are money that is what? Uh, that is kept aside from the profit in order to meet uh, situations as regards bad debt. You have to cover up for bad debt in case it occurs. Okay, every day um, a businessman removes some certain amount of um, from his profit in order to ensure that should in case bad debt occurs, should in case those that bought from him on credit that is debtors they could not pay, he can use those money to work, to um, cover up. Okay, so. The provision for bad debt and money specifically what kept in order to want to come out for what for bad debt. Now we also have different ways in which this can occur. It comes under additional information most times. Okay. So the first one is if we have a trial balance, for instance, we have a trial balance, a 
Okay, and we just have provision for bad debt. All only in the trial balance. And what do we do? Now this amount will be posted to the what debit of the profit or loss account. Okay? Posted to the debit of the profit or loss account. Why? Because this has occurred before. So no need of what posted to what to the balance sheet. Okay? So if it appears under the trial balance only, so in the profit or loss, in the profit or loss, we we'll post it as expenses. Okay? We we'll post it as what? As expenses. Okay? That's all. Now also, if most time it can appear um in it can appear under additional information as we have additional information we have provision for bad debt provision for bad debt let's say two percent of debtors fever let's say the debtors fever is let's say ten thousand Okay, 10,000. Now, in this now, when it appears only under additional information, now you have to just calculate it, like say 2% of debtor's figure, that is 2 over 100 times debtor's figure is 10,000. Okay, now this will give us 2,000. So this 2,000 will be posted first to the profit or loss account as expenses. Now, in the uh, balance sheet, it will be used also to reduce the debtor's figure. Okay, that's provision of bad debt. But, before we do that, as we got provision of bad debt, please, you have to ensure that there is no bad debt in the additional information. If there is bad debt, for instance, in the additional information, let's say bad debt, the additional information as 1,000. Now, the first thing you should do, deduct this bad debt amount from the debtor's figure. We want to calculate provision of bad debt, not provision for um, um, good debt. So, this one has already been banned. So, what you should do, remove this 1000 from the debtor's figure before you calculate this percentage. Very important. Before you calculate provision of bad debt, if this given you percentage, Please check if there is bad debt in the additional information. If there is bad debt in the additional information, reduce it first. For instance, if I want to calculate this, I have to say, okay, debtors, I'll say 10,000 minus 1,000. It will give me what? 9,000. So this 9,000 will be calculated on what? 2%. Okay? So I'll have a 2% of 9,000 will give me 2 so I will have, I will have this, okay? So this is hundred. So I will have this. That is one eighty. Yeah. So one eighty. So is the provision for bad debt, okay? So when you have provision for bad debt under the additional information, what do you do? Now if it's given in percentage, you calculate it on debtors. So I said if there's bad debt fee or this. Okay, so I was calculated if there was bad debt, just okay. If there's bad debt, the amount was calculated 180. This amount will go to the profit or loss accounts and also go to the what? To the balance sheet to reduce debtors' figure. Okay, but in the balance sheet, before you reduce debtors' figure again, you have to write debtors amount 10,000, then you deduct the bad debt 1,000 and see and uh, reduce the provision for bad debt. Okay, so. So, if it appears in the additional information only, what do we do? Now we debit the profit or loss account in the expenses, the amount, and also in the balance sheet, reduce it from what? From the debtor's figure in the, what? In the current asset. Okay? So, the last part. 
The last part is when it occurs both in the uh, trial balance and also in the additional information. So I have provision for bad debt. Okay? So if I have provision for bad debt, let's say provision for bad debt can be um, 200 here. Provision for bad debt, let's say provision for bad debt here is um, 200 and provision for bad debt here is 5% of debtors. Okay? So now to calculate this, when it um, appears in both um, the trial balance and additional information. Now we're going to calculate 5% of debtors is 5 over 100 times the debtors amount is what? 10,000. So we we'll calculate this, this will give us 500. Now this 500 is called new provision. Okay, because we recently calculated it. It is called what? New provision. Now, in this situation where it appears here and here, you compare and contrast. We don't just pose the total value. Now, the old one in the trial balance is 200. Now, we call that old provision. Okay? So, the old was 200. Why the new one we calculated is what? 500. So, what do we do? We get the difference. Now, the difference is 300. That is what we post to the profit or loss account. So, it may either be increase or decrease. Now, it is increased when the, uh, the new is greater than the old. For instance, the previous provision was 200, but the recent one we calculated is what? 500. You can see that it increased from 200 to what? 500. By how much? By the difference, which is what? 300. Okay? So, it is this 300 that will go to the what? The profit or loss account as what? Expenses. When it appears both here and what? Here. Okay, so it will go as increase in provision of what bad debt. We post the difference, take notes, okay, when it appears here and here. Okay, so if it appears in both, so to the profit or loss, now we post to the debit side the increase. The increase, okay, the increase is gotten by the difference between the new and the old, okay. If the old is lesser while the new is higher, the difference gives increase, and that increase is posted to what the debit side as expense. Okay. Also, if let's say for instance this is one percent, one percent of debtors, one percent. Now, what to calculate this? It is now one over hundred times uh, ten thousand. Which is giving us 100. So this 100 is a new provision. So this is new. Now we compare it to the previous. The previous is 200. Okay? Which is what? Old. So you can see that if the old is 200, while the new one is 100, it means that it decreased. Previously it was 200, but recently now it's what? 100. So we get the difference between 100 and 200, which is what? 100. So this 100 is now called what? Decrease. Why? The old is 200. The new recently is 100. It means it decreased from 200 to 100. So as I said before, we post the word difference, which is what 100 has decreased. So it is posted, if it is a decrease, it is posted to the credit side as what? Decrease. Okay? It is posted to the credit side as income. Decrease is posted to the credit side in the profit or loss. Why increase is posted to the word debit side. Okay. Why in the balance sheet, in the balance sheet, what we post there is the recent one we just calculated, not the difference. For instance, we calculated this recently, which is 100. Okay. The new. That is what we put to the balance sheet to reduce the debtor's figure. Okay. So it will go under the word recurrent asset. To reduce what debtors figure. Not the difference as per when we posted there, but the actual one that was recently was calculated. Okay, so that is the profit uh, provision for market. Okay, now let me give a summary here a summary of what we've done. 
So we have profit or loss, and we have balance sheet. Okay. So <coughs> profit or loss and uh, balance sheet. Now, if for instance we have bad, okay. Let me shift it. For instance, we have bad debt. A loss and balance sheet. For instance, we have bad debt, and the bad debt is trial balance only. Okay? Trial balance only. Our posting will be post to the debit side. Debit as expenses. Okay? In the balance sheet, no entry. No entry is made. Okay? The next one also, if it appears in both the trial balance and the additional information, what do you do? To the profit or loss account, you add it, you post to the expenses. The total got it, okay? Why in the balance sheet, you post only the one in the what additional information under what the current asset. To reduce the debtor's figure, okay. Only the one in additional information is posted there. Why the last part is if it appears in the additional information only, okay. If it appears in the additional information only, you post to the debit side as what expenses, okay, and also post under the current what assets to reduce the debtor's what figure. So that is for the what added. Okay, and also for provision for bad debt, for provision for bad debt, now if it appears on natural balance only, on natural balance only, the same way, we post to the profit or loss account in expenses. No entry is also made here. Okay, no entry is also made. Okay, now the next one, if it appears in the additional information only, Additional information only. What you do is to post in the what um, expenses side, expenses, and you post in the current assets to reduce what to reduce the debtor's figure. Remember, I told you if you have bad debts and additional information before this, ensure you deduct the bad debt figure first before you apply this. Okay. So the last part, if it appears both additional information and the trial balance. What do you do? You check if it is decrease or increase. I've told you how to show you how to get decrease or increase. So it will be posted to the debit side if it is increase. And it will be posted to the credit side if it is what? Decrease. Okay? That's other profit or loss. Why in the balance sheet it will be posted to the what? Um, current assets. Now, not the difference now, but the actual one that was calculated to reduce the debtor's figure. So that's for bad debt and provision for bad debt. Okay? Now, also, there is another called provision, provision for discounts allowed on debtors. Okay? Now, discounts allowed are money, um, that um, tends to what be reduced from the purchases or what the debtor from the sales needs to them. Okay, it can be cash or trade or discount. And most times the businesses they provide for what uh, they make provision for discount allowed. Okay, in order to what to charge against their profit, so that once um, uh, they issue a discount to their sellers, it wouldn't affect the business as per se. Okay, so when this happens, you just um, the statement will be given there, the amount will be given there. Now, the posting is you post to the profit or loss in the debit side as what well, expenses, the expenses, and in the balance sheet, you deduct it from what the debtor's figure under what current asset. Okay, under what current asset. But mind you, if you have provision for bad debt and also you have provision for discount allow, what you should do. First of all, um, attend to the provision of discount allow, deduct it from the debtor's figure before you can claim provision for discount allowed on debtors. If you have provision of bad debt, first of all, attend to it on the debtor before attending to provision of discount allowed on debtor. 
because we want to give discounts to good debt and not for those that are doubtful. Okay? So that is our position for this kind of allowed of debt. And also, we also have another that can come provision for discount received on creditor. Now, the same way we have discount we give to our debtor, that same way we also have discount we receive from our creditor. So, provision of discount uh, or receive on creditor are uh, provisions made as regards our discount what receive. Okay, now we give this uh, money aside so that the creditor value would not be overstated. It will not be overstated in the balance sheet. Okay, so when provision of discount received on creditor is stated there, now you post it to the profit or loss account in the credit side as what? Income. As income, not expense the credit side. Why in the balance sheet? It will be posted under the current liability to deduct from the creditors. Okay? It is charged against creditor to deduct from what? The creditor. Okay? Now, the last part we will see is five is depreciation. Depreciation. Now, depreciation refers to the reduction in the value of a fixed asset as a result of wear and tear, passage of time, obsolescence, and all that. Okay? So, we have a different method of um, depreciation. Um, in our next video, we'll look on depreciation. We have a straight line method. Um, we have a reducing balancing method, some of the eight digits, and all that. Now, if we want to calculate depreciation, okay, now the first thing we should do now. If, for instance, we have a fixed asset, let's say plant and machinery, okay, it is given there as 50,000. Plant and machinery, 50,000. And we have provision for depreciation also. Provision for depreciation, we have it as, uh, let's say, um, 1,000. Now we have in additional information. They said provide for depreciation, provide for depreciation on 10% on cost. Okay? 10% on cost. Now what do we do? Now we just calculate 10%. That's 10 over 100 times. The cost of this asset, 50,000. So it will be 50,000. And if they are silent, it means that we want to use the straight line method. But most times they might tell you use reducing balance. I'll get to that. So it will be 10% of 50,000, which will give us what? 5,000. Okay? Now watch. It is this 5,000 that will go to profit or loss as expenses. It is this 5,000 that will go to profit or loss as expenses, even if there is a provision of position here. It will go to profit or loss as what? Expenses. Okay? A loan. Then in the balance sheet, where you now have um, cost, depreciation, and net book value. So the cost of our asset will be 50000 Then the depreciation now will not be accumulated. The one that was given in the uh, trial balance plus the one you calculated. So it will not be 1,000 plus 5,000, that is what? 6,000. So to get the net book value, 5,000 minus 6,000, we give us 44,000. Okay? So that's how to calculate it. So this one has already appeared before. So you only post to the profit or loss account the one that is recently calculated, either 10% or any percentage on the cost. Okay? So the amount it is in the balance sheet now. You bring the one in the trial balance, add it to the one you're, you've calculated, and um, sum it together and deduct it from the cost of the water. asset. That is what depreciation. Okay? Now, there is something that is important. Now, also, there are situations whereby okay, we have plants and machinery. They will give the 
a value close to it, let's say 100,000. And they will now give another one inside it like this. Take notes. If it appears like this, and they said additional information, provide 10% on cost. If it appears like this, because there are many questions whereby the asset, then the value close to it, then another one in the trial balance. It is the one close to it that is the actual cost. The one here is the reduced balance. The one here is what reduced balance. So when they say on cost, your intention should go to here. So it will not be 10 over 100 times the cost of the asset, which is what? 100,000. So this will give us 10,000. So this is now our what? Depreciation. 10,000. So if you have any other provision uh, for depreciation, we can add it the way I've said before. Okay? But note, this is the cost whenever a situation like this arises. But if they said 10% on the reducing balance, look at the statement, on the reducing balance. Now this is the reducing balance. Okay? So 10% on it now would be 10 over 100 times 50,000 over 1. Now this cancels is now we have 5,000. Now this will not be our depreciation. Okay? Now when you get to balance sheet, you have cost, depreciation, and then we find it. So my cost is still 100,000. So the depreciation will not be this plus, if we have any other provision in the trial balance, we add it as a 1,000 here plus this 6,000. So 100,000 plus 6,000 will not give us what? Uh, give us 94,000. Okay? So whenever you have something like this, the value here is a reduced balance. Why the one is the cost? So you should be attentive on what you are asking. If it is 10% on cost, you know that that is straight line measure. You calculate it on the cost. Or if, or if they now said is 10% on the reducing balance, so it will be 10% on this, okay, which will be 10 over 100 times 50,000 over 1, which is giving us that same what? 5,000. Okay, which is giving us that same what? 5,000. So if we are posting, it is the cost minus depreciation, including this and the one given, getting your net value. So, for our posting now will be in the profit or loss, it will be to post in the expenses side. Okay? To post in the expenses because the depreciation is expenses. The one that was recently calculated, okay? While in the balance sheet, you post under the fixed assets to reduce it from the asset. Okay, to reduce the value from what the asset that's accumulated with the position. Okay, the one that was recently calculated plus anyone in the what uh, trial balance. If there is no trial balance, fine. You just want reduce it from the one that was what calculated. Okay, so that's how to treat this. So we have seen today the bad debt, production of bad debt, production of discount allowed, production of discount received on creditor, and depreciation. In the previous video, we saw closing stock, um, accrued expenses, accrued income, prepaid expenses, prepaid income. Okay, these are some of the major adjustments you will see, but not all. There are some that are minor. For instance, uh, they might say something like um, the proprietor withdrew goods for personal use, or there was error in payment. Okay, these are little things you can do with your IQ, but these are the major things that you can see. Okay, so if you're still uh, confused or you want me to treat it further or other topics, please like, comment, share, comment below what you want. Okay, and any topic you want, if you have a question related to that, just let me know. Okay, I hope you comment, share this video so it goes viral. Okay, thank you very much for um, staying up to this time. Thank you. Stay tuned for next um, related topic in accounting, finance, and statistics.